Welcome back, everyone, to the part 2 of our tutorial series. In this episode, we're taking our Firebase integration to the next level by implementing role guards using Firebase claims. In this episode, we'll also address an essential aspect of database design. By default, Laravel uses auto-incrementing integers as primary keys, however, we'll show you how to leverage the UUID, universally unique identifier, type as the primary key instead. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let us change the user table structure and also implement the UUID type as the primary key for our user table. Take a look at this migration file. We have the ID column, which we set as a UUID type using the UUID method. We also set it as the primary key of the table by calling the primary method. Now that we have our database migration set up to use UUID as the primary key for the user table, let's update our user model to reflect this change. The user model class begins by implementing the authenticatable interface. This allows the user model to utilize authentication-related features provided by Laravel. We've added the use statement for the HasUids trait provided by Laravel. This trait allows us to generate and handle UUIDs seamlessly within our model. The user model class then uses multiple traits to add additional functionality. The $Feeable property specifies an array of attributes that are mass assignable, such as UUID, email, and password. And that's the refactored user model code. Now, before we proceed with the migration, it's important to ensure that you have the MySQL and Apache services running. Once both services are up and running, we can move forward and start the migration process using the following command. Let's now add a user custom claims during the registration process within our application. This is how the register controller will look like. We define custom claims for the user. In this example, we set the role as admin for simplicity. Custom claims allow us to assign additional attributes or roles to the user, which we can use for role-based authorization later. We then update the user's custom claims in Firebase Authentication by calling the setCustomUserClaims method and passing in the user's UID and the custom claims array. After updating the user's claims, we hash the password using Laravel's hash, make method and assign the UID to the request's UID attribute. We then create a new user record in our local database by calling the create method on the user model, passing in all the request data. With the register controller updated, we can now register for an account in Laravel application. The information will be securely stored both in Firebase Authentication and our local database, allowing for seamless authentication and user management. Next, let's take a look at the Login Controller, which handles the login and logout functionality within our Laravel application. We have updated the code inside the login method. We now attempt to authenticate the user using Laravel's auth attempt method. If the authentication is successful, we proceed to authenticate the user with Firebase by calling the sign in with email and password method on the Firebase authentication instance. With the login controller in place, users can log into our Laravel application, and their authentication will be handled seamlessly with both Laravel's authentication system and Firebase authentication. I would like to inform you that I have developed an account menu, which displays the user account details. To achieve this, I have implemented an account controller and created a corresponding account view page. In account controller, we only have the index method. This method is responsible for rendering the user account page. Inside the index method, the first thing we do is retrieve the authenticated user using the auth user method. This method returns the currently authenticated user instance. We then pass the retrieved user to the view function, along with the name of the view file we want to render, which is account. The compact user function creates an associative array with the variable name user and its corresponding value. And here is how our account view looks like. We then add the account menu item to our NAV bar. Finally, let us implement the role-based access control within our application. We will simply try to add a role-based access to our account page. 
For this, let us dive into the Roll Guard middleware, which will allow us to implement the role based access control. In the Roll Guard middleware, we check if the authenticated user has the specified role required to access a specific route. The handle method is responsible for performing this role based access control. It receives the dollar request object, a dollar next closure, and the dollar role parameter as input. Inside the handle method, we retrieve the authenticated user's UUID from Laravel's auth user UID. We then use the Firebase Authentication instance to fetch the user's data using the retrieved UUID with the getUser method. After obtaining the user's data, we retrieve the custom claims associated with the user using $user custom claims. We compare the user's role from the custom claims with the specified dollar role. If the roles do not match, we throw a forbidden HTTP exception, indicating that access is forbidden. If the user has the required role, we allow the request to continue to the next middleware or root handler by calling $next $request. Now, let's register our RollGuard middleware in the kernel.php file to make it available for root protection within our Laravel application. After successfully implementing the RollGuard middleware and adding its registration to the kernel.php file in our application, let's see how to use it to protect roots based on user roles. The RollGuard admin middleware ensures that the user is authenticated and has the admin role. Inside this root group, we define the slash account root, which is intended for admin-specific functionality and is handled by the account controller's index method. You can add more roots within this group as needed, specifying the appropriate controllers and methods. By using the RollGuard middleware in this way, we can protect specific roots in our Laravel application and restrict access to only users with the admin role. Now, let's test it by accessing the protected roots that is account page in your browser. Since we are logged in as a user with admin role, we are able to access the page. But, if we change the root access to the user with role user, the user with admin role wouldn't be able to view the page and encounters a forbidden error. Remember to customize the middleware and roles according to your application's specific requirements. Congratulations! You have successfully integrated the role-based access control. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Happy coding!